Hello, uh, my name is Andrzej Borowiec and I am at the advanced uh, testbed showing one terabit transmission. What you will see is our one terabit channel, which is composed of five subcarriers, each one carrying 200 giga gigabits per second of payload. They occupy 200 gigahertz of optical spectrum. The super channel is combined with 83 100 gigabit per second neighbor channels to provide realistic traffic uh, on the network. The neighbor channels and the super channels are combined together and are sent over the link. At the output of the link, the super channel is demuxed using a tunable bandwidth tunable filter and then sent to the coherent receiver where the individual uh, subcarriers are decoded. The super channels occupies 200 gigahertz worth of spectrum. The key enabling technology which allows us to put one terabit through a 200 gigahertz of optical spectrum is ability to apply pulse shaping to the subcarriers. The, sub the pulse shaping allows us to limit and constrain the sp uh, spectrum to a nearly rectangular, uh, rectangular slice and hence bring five su uh, subcarriers uh, as close together as possible. Now this represents two and a half times improvement in spectral efficiency of our current, currently available products. Specifically, using today's technology, we can transport 400 gigabits per second in 200 gigahertz uh, spectrum, while in this demo, we are showing one terabit per second in the same amount of uh, spectrum. The key, the key technology which enables us to do this is the digital to analog circuitry in our transmitter. The digital to analog uh, circuitry allows us to do a number of things. Allows us to pre-compensate for any linear distortion on the channel. It allows us to apply spectral shaping and hence contain the spectrum of individual subcarriers to nearly a rectangular slice and also access more complex modulation formats. We're moving away from QPSK and in this case, we're using 16 QAM modulation format. The demodulated signal from the full spectrum is then sent to our coherent receiver. Now I will show you portions of the receiver which is decoding the data. Here we have a view of our processing algorithm in action. What you will see in the top, top two uh, portions is the view view of the incoming signal after it's been equalized. We have two portions for X and Y polarization. After all the linear filters have been applied and carrier recovery, we now see 16 QAM constellation starts to e emerge out of noise. And in the slide below, we see the accumulated view of the same constellations over time. We also see how the signal to noise of the received signal improves as the processing algorithms hones in and optimizes uh, its behavior. And in, uh, finally, we, we have a view of the bit error ratio as the processing progresses. It starts with essentially 100% error, error ratio and with processing time and optimization, we see the reduction in the bit error ratio. The red line represents our soft soft FEC error threshold, and hence anything beyond below the FEC threshold will appear as error-free transmission on the client side.